welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday so it is way in day. I had a week you guys. I had a few epiphanies this week. I came to some decisions this week and I'm definitely going to be sharing those with you in today's video. But before we jump in, if you are excited for another weigh-in, workshop recap, and give this video a big huge thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and definitely, definitely helps out my channel. Also, if you're not yet subscribed or you're new to my channel, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I am trying to hit my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 and I'm under 500 away, so it would mean the world to me if you made sure that you were subscribed. Also, check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. And it's Black Friday today. There are a ton of fantastic deals all over the internet, including my nutrition coaching website. I am offering $5 off coaching and macro calculation for today and tomorrow only. It will expire Saturday. So make sure you head on over and take advantage of this Black Friday sale because it's only going to last a day and a half. So definitely head on over and take advantage of macro and calorie calculation as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. Also links and discount codes to my favorite things are in that description box along with the link to head over and join us on Facebook. We are rounding out 2020 and moving into 2021 and I have some really fun things planned. So head on over and join us on Facebook. So let's jump into weigh in, workshop topic recap, and how my week went. We're getting up close and personal for this section of this weigh-in video. You guys, I I haven't been struggling. I haven't been unmotivated, but I've been kind of over it, if that makes any sense. I have been dieting for the majority of my life. I've been tracking my food for the majority of my life. Whether that's in WW app or in a calorie counting app, I've literally been dieting for a lot of my life. And for some reason, the last week or two, I've just been really over it. I have not been consistently tracking my food. I've been eating good. I've been making sure that I'm eating a lot of protein and that I'm making good food choices. But honestly, I haven't been tracking. It's hit and miss for me. And really at this point with the bathroom remodel, the holidays coming, I am so busy in my life that right now, I just don't wanna track. I want to continue to eat healthy. I know what I should be eating. I know my portion sizes, but I'm just not really interested in tracking. So I have decided that through the end of the year, I am not going to track my food. I'm going to mindfully eat. I'm going to make good food choices. I'm going to have a holiday on one day Thanksgiving and one day Christmas, and that's it. I'm going to do my best to eat right but I just need a break. With everything going on in the holidays, I just need a break from tracking. So that's my plan. And with not tracking, of course I'd like to lose weight over the next month and a half, but my goal through the end of 2020 is to maintain my weight. No, I have not lost 50 pounds total in the year of 2020, but I've lost 50 pounds total overall, which was a huge milestone for me. Once I hit that goal is kind of when this epiphany started. And I decided that through the holidays, I'm just going to not track. And I'm going to focus on maintaining if I can pull out a few losses, fantastic. But I just need a break. And this seems to be the perfect time. And then when the new year starts, I will be having some amazing things happening on my Facebook group, some challenges for the new year. I will get right back to tracking honestly, consistently, and really making 2021 a stellar year. I'm continuing to work out at least three times a week if that has not changed. And like I said, I've been eating good. I just don't want to track. So if you're with me, leave that down in the comments. What's your thoughts on moving forward with the holiday season? So I'm going to continue to do weigh-in videos. I'm going to continue to tell you what my weigh-ins are. I'm shooting again for a maintain. If I lose, fantastic. I certainly don't want to gain, but that's my plan moving forward. So let's get that out of the way first and foremost in this video. So with that, I still had a good week. I worked out. 
I ate what I should eat. Do I know if I stayed within my points or calories? No, but I know that I made good food choices. I'm choosing high protein items. I have not indulged. I have not been overeating. So I feel really good about that. So I'm actually filming this video on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And you will see this video, of course, on Friday. I'm going to enjoy my Thanksgiving. So I certainly didn't want to weigh in right after that. So I'm weighing in a little bit early this week. I weighed in last Friday and now it's Wednesday, so it's only been about five days. So before I tell you how my weigh-in went, let's talk about this week's workshop topic. We are still in the fan favorites of workshop topics. So this one is why the good in life matters. And I really like this topic. It kind of goes hand in hand with my epiphany and not wanting to track over the holidays. I just want to enjoy the holidays. I want to feel a little less stressed every day. I want one thing off my to-do list every day taken off because like I said, I'm incredibly busy and I just want to enjoy the good and the fun of the holiday season. It can be easy to focus on everything that's going wrong. I mean, we're in 2020, so pretty much everything has went wrong. But what if we shifted our focus to what's going well, even if it's the small stuff that's happening in our life? What if we just focused on that? The fact that we just celebrated Thanksgiving with our family and we're moving into a lot of people, including myself's favorite time of the year, Christmas Eve, Christmas, shopping, giving back, supporting small businesses. What if we focused on that instead of maybe the things 2020 that didn't go right for us and the more we intentionally pause and focus on what's going well for us the more likely that's going to become a habit the negative self-talk will go away and we'll focus on what's positive so we have three tips for you today on how to focus on the good tip number one focus on three good things that happened today and don't tell me that three good things didn't happen for you because there are three good things that happen for us every single day. Maybe you heard your favorite song on the radio. Maybe you dug out your Christmas decorations in preparation to put those up today or over this weekend. Maybe you got some good news at work. Focus on three positive things that happened today, big or small. Tip number two, write down those three things in detail. What was the song that you heard on the radio? What specifically was the good news that you got at work today? What decoration did you pull out that just made your heart happy? Write those down because those will be things that you can anchor on and focus on when the negative starts to kick in. And tip number three is how did you feel when those good things happen? Like I said, when you pulled those decorations out, did it just make your heart happy? How did you feel when the good things that happened today came into your life. That way when, again, you start to feel those negative energy or those negative thoughts come in, you can reminisce and focus on these good things. These tips are extremely easy, but extremely beneficial. It's really important for us to have positive self-talk, to focus on good things, especially in times like this, 2020, the holidays, the busyness that happens with all of that, plus you're trying to live your regular normal life when it isn't 2020 and the holidays aren't here. So focusing on the good that happens every day is so incredibly important. I am definitely going to do this. I am definitely going to write three things down every single day in my planner that happened good for me. And whenever I'm feeling a little down and out, I'll look back at all those great things and it'll again, just make me happy, make me feel positive, and again, focus on the good things. So let's get into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I didn't track all week. I did do jazzercise three days, including a power session on Thursday, an hour and a half session. I wanted to die, but I figured that it would be great going into the Thanksgiving holiday to have a little extra movement, activity, and calorie burn under my belt. So all in all, my week went well. It's just been really, really busy. And I just, like I said, was struggling with wanting to diet for the next six weeks or so. But after five days, when I stepped on the scale today, I am down 0.2. So I actually lost 0.2 without tracking. And I'll tell you that I don't recommend not tracking. So please don't think that I am promoting the fact that you don't track your food. But I do think that taking a diet break is beneficial, especially in times like this, where you don't want to focus on dieting, you want to focus on enjoying your friends and family in the holidays. 
also believe that because I've upped my calories over the last few months that my body has adjusted so I can eat a little bit more and still lose weight or maintain my weight, which is exactly what I'm shooting for over the next six weeks. So that was my week. That was my weigh in. I'm absolutely thrilled that I still was able to lose weight over the last five days and we shall see how the next six weeks play out for me. I feel like I've developed some really good habits and I'm going to see if those habits actually lead me to the goals that I want over the holidays. So again, I want to hear how you guys are doing. Please leave that down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and let me know what you think about taking a diet break or if you're with me on just being kind of burnt out on dieting for 2020. I'm looking forward to picking things up in the new year. I seriously have so much exciting things coming out. You definitely want to be subscribed. You definitely want to be part of my Facebook group because there are so many great things coming out in 2021. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget about the Black Friday specials on my nutrition coaching website. You don't want to miss out on those. And also check out that description box for links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget about heading over and joining us on Facebook. You're not going to want to miss what I have in store for you for 2021. I love you guys so much. I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.